Hi friends, I am Vikas Singh and I welcome you to the official YouTube channel of DNA Forensics Laboratory Private Limited. In this video, I will guide you about how to collect your DNA sample for a peace of mind DNA test at home. For privacy or any other reasons, you may prefer to collect your DNA sample by yourself at home by ordering a DNA testing kit online. Whenever you contact us to book your DNA test, you have to tell a representative that you want to collect your sample yourself. After this, you have to go to our website www.dnaforensics.in and buy your DNA testing kit. Once your payment for the kit is confirmed, we send you the kit to your specified address through a courier service. After receiving your kit, you have to follow these steps and collect your DNA sample for the test. The kit contains material for sample collection of up to 3 people. So you get 6 buckle swabs, that is 2 swabs for each tested person. Three of these envelopes to put each tested person's samples and most importantly this consent form in which you have to fill all the details of all the tested persons. Once your and other tested person's samples are collected, pack all the samples along with the consent form in the kit and send it to a testing facility via courier. The packing has our testing facility's address already printed on it. Please make sure not to eat or drink anything one hour prior to the sample collection. You can drink water only. Also avoid chewing gums, tobacco etc. First of all write the names of each of the tested persons on separate envelopes. Here you will sign and enter the date of sample collection. In the sample from section below you will have to tick the checkbox of your relationship with the other tested party. Now tear this back and take out both the swabs. Then rub a swab on your mouth cheeks from inside with a circular up and down motion. Now repeat the same process on the other cheek with the other swab. Each swab has to be rubbed for approximately 40 to 60 seconds. After using both the swabs, let the swabs air dry for about 10 minutes by holding and moving them like this. Now place both the swabs of the tested person in their assigned envelope. Always put the ends of the swabs inward and put them in the envelope like this. Repeat this process for all the tested persons. To give you an example of a real life case, we have already prepared a dummy envelope of another tested person's sample whose DNA is to be matched with the other tested person. Now let's see how to fill out the consent form. On this side of the form, at the top, you have to write the name of the test like paternity DNA test, siblingship DNA test, etc. If you have a case number, then write it here in the DFL case number column and write the sample collection date here. Then write the details of each of the tested person like the name, date of birth, sex and relationship with the other tested person. Now write your ethnicity like uh, African American, Hispanic or Asian in the race column. In sample type write buckle swab. If you are using blood, hair or nails etc for your own or another tested person sample mention it here. If you had a blood transfusion or have undergone a bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant in the last 3 months then tick the yes check boxes else tick no. Now paste your colored passport size photo here and sign here. Now fill in the details of all other tested persons, attach their photographs and get them to sign their respective columns. In this part, leave the laboratory use only section blank. Now turn this form over. Here in the collector statement section, fill in your details like date, address, city, state and zip that is pin code etc. Also leave the attorney slash legal witness section blank. Now come down to the bottom, here you put your sign and date. In the address column, you have to put your address again and also your working email ID and mobile number. If you are getting a confidential paternity, maternity or any other DNA test, please tell this to a representative when you contact us to book your DNA test. Also please mention that you want your test report only by email or phone and that the report must not be sent to your home or address. Your sample collection is now complete. Now you just have to put the consent form and the sample envelopes in this envelope, peel off these strips from the flap and seal it like this. Now write your name, address and mobile number here and send it to us by courier. Once the kit is received at a testing facility, we will start your test and you receive your report via email. Please note that our standard processing time for a peace of mind DNA test is 3 to 4 days. So friends, I hope you have understood the process of home collection of your DNA sample. In case you want any further information, please contact us on the numbers being displayed on the screen or in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue getting notification of such informational videos about different types of DNA tests. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.